Welcome back to the Hurry Up Offense. Five minutes of fantasy football news and advice. I am Smokey Ramirez, your fantasy football pro. Let's go. Today's topic is, should I still invest time into my team even though I have been knocked out of the playoffs? But first, let's get into the news. Antonio Gibson has a toe injury that he suffered in the Monday night game. So if he is out and does not return, I guess this is going to mean more for J.D. McKissick. I wouldn't be excited about it. I definitely wouldn't be excited about Peyton. Now, if Gibson does return, I want to play him. But as far as the other options, maybe McKissick, but I'm not excited about it. D.J. Moore has the virus and is probably going to be out at least for the next couple of weeks. Curtis Samuel is also out right now as a precaution because of close contact. And if both of these guys are out, that means Robbie Anderson is going to have a ton of targets. And that would be a great play, even through the double coverage, because he can burn a lot of guys. Josh Jacobs is not expected to play in Week 14. Now, this means that most of the work is going to go over to Devontae Booker, but that doesn't really inspire a lot of confidence in me. This is Devontae Booker, after all, that we are talking about, and the few times he has been the front guy in a backfield, he has failed to produce all of those times, so I'm not really excited about it, but if you are desperate, sure, give it a try. Chris Godwin had the pins removed from his finger. This is stemming from the injury that actually kept him out in week 8. Now this shouldn't be a problem. He should be ready to go for week 14. But if he's not, of course, AB is out there and Mike Evans. So if you got him, play him. Miles Sanders is god awful. Mm. James Conner is returning from his absence due to the virus, and he should be ready to go for week 14. And that's a welcome sign, because Benny Snell was an abject failure. And last but not least this week, the big news out of the Eagles camp is that we're going with Jalen Hurts at this point, and Carson Wentz is out. He will now take the role of the backup, which actually could mean quite a few things for this offense we could see miles sanders mm, get going at this point because usually mobile running quarterbacks are good for the running backs also and that comes from the defense that teams have to run to defend a mobile quarterback plus there's the fact that when you have an offensive line that is this bad as the eagles have a mobile quarterback is better because he can get out of harm's way. And Jalen Hurts happens to be a very quick, very, very mobile quarterback. Now, you can say what you want about his arm talent, but the guy can run, and that is a fact. So I'm not saying pick him up and play him right away, but you may want to pick him up and hold him if you're going deep into the season with your playoffs. A lot of playoffs have started this week, so it's probably not a good idea to start a brand new rookie quarterback at this point. But if you're one of those week 16, 17 playoff teams, yes, this is a good idea to hold him on your bench if you have that ability. That's it for the news this week. Real quick, with the little bit of time we have left, let's talk about should I continue to play my team even though I have been knocked out of the playoffs? It happens to us all. We all have bad seasons. Yes, the answer is yes. You should continue to field your team, put the best team forward, and play spoiler if you want to for the guys that are going into the playoffs. If that's your thing, do it. This is fun. This is all for fun. Now, it comes down to this. The last few weeks of the season is very pivotal to you understanding what is going on and leading into next season. Actually, playing these few weeks, even though you have been knocked out, is going to give you an advantage going into next season. You're going to know 
what these players were doing at the end of the season because you continue to watch them closely through the end of the season before. It is very, very important. Plus experience. Experience makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. Experience in fantasy football makes you better each and every single game. The last four games of the season plays a huge part in me predicting who should be a breakout for next season and figuring out who is going to trend in what direction. It is very, very important. Learn the trends, learn the cycles, and this is part of it. Guys, that is it for this week. Please subscribe to the Beyond Football channel. I am Smokey Ramirez, your fantasy football pro. I'll see you next week. Deuces.